don't know. I think let's keep going for now. Okay. The next time we're in a safe room, whenever we find a new one, I think we will have to either leave or use items. But for now, it seems like we're pretty... Oh, God, they respawn. Hmm. Well, I guess... Show me your true form. Let's farm them. Oh wow, you lived. What? No. Zealous Messenger speaks. I'm sorry, please let me live. Well, I can't take her. Well, actually, maybe I could. Because I maybe if she's the same Arcana, I could just replace it. But I don't know what Arcana she is. Let's have a look. I'm Angel. I mean, I'm you after all. Wait, have we already got one of these? I don't remember having one of those. Damn it, it's a different friggin' justice. Uh. Incubus seems fairly useful with his life drain thing. Hmm. I don't know. I really want to replace one of these, but it's just we shouldn't because we need them for our level ups. It's a shame you can't just have as... I, I thought you could just have as many as you wanted. I, yeah. You've, again, this has probably been explained to me in a previous episode when this first came up, but yeah. I have not... Uh, that has not been uploaded yet. Um, I don't know what to do here. Maybe we'll sack off Incubus. Cool though he is. Level nine. Yeah. Sorry, Incubus. That's a new one, isn't it? I think for fusing purposes, it's better to have okay. higher level ones, and because we don't yet have anyone that is of that arcana, it just seems like it's for the best. Okay. Surprise, bitch! I'll reveal your true form. Okay, so they're weak to gun. Whoops. No, wait. It's not firing at the one I wanted to. Damn it. Oh, wait. Is it random? Oh, wait, no. These aren't even the ones that are weak to gun. I'm so dumb. I didn't realize her gun's random. Use wind to hit its weak point. They're weak to wind. I'm an idiot. And Incubus is weak to fire. Damn it. Like so, and like so. Pew pew. Okay. 
lovely. So easy, I'm yawning. <laughs> You're so cocky. Show me your true form. Oh, hello. No That's a new one. Oh. We can gun her down, though. Do we know his weakness? I forget. Weak to electricity. Let's go for that. He is weak to electricity, so if we baton pass to... Ryuji. And then we give him a little bit of this. Lovely. <laughs> Soul drop. Oh, that's nice. Level nine for Morgana. Right. <laughs> no match for me. Cool. It's definitely, definitely a good idea to be, even though they're slightly like, we don't need to be fighting them all, but it is actually feeling like it's a good idea now that they're now that they're lower level and easier to take down. It's feeling like it's a good idea to fight them for the XP. Okay, so now we should be good. Pop in the stones. That we can't get over here, can we? Yeah, no. We have both eyes now. Try putting them in, Joker. Boop. All right, let's go. All right, we can get across. Lovely. Breath ring. What is a breath ring when it's at home? Breathes new life into any outfit. Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> I guess you can only see what it does from the accessory bit. Life bonus. Increases match max HP by 10%. Uh, Morgana's the weakest, right? Let's give Morgana the breath ring. I'm pretty sure Morgana's the weakest. Actually, we can probably see in stats, right? Uh, health pool, 155. Yeah, Morgana's the weakest. Nice. I assume that's 8131. Oh, wait, no, that's not that, that's not her max. Because Morgana's still got a little bit left. Although that might just be because, yeah, maybe it's because we just upped it and it doesn't, it doesn't automatically fill your health because that would be kind of a way of cheesing, I guess. So that's probably why there's a gap. Uh, do you want to turn around, man? Treasure chest. Show me your true form. Okay. I've already forgotten. Weak to electricity and weak to guns. Oh, now Morgana ranked up, so Morgana's back as first place. Money. Revival bead? What does a revival bead do? Revives one fallen ally to 50% HP. Nice. Very nice. Let's see it. It's weird that it makes like a glass breaking sound for everything, even when it's like a wooden barrel. <laughs> Okay, where to now? Oh, we're in the throne room now? Oh, snap. I can feel it. 
Oh, I panicked and hit the button. Definitely going to want to ambush that guy. Oh, a treasure chest. I'll reveal your there we go. Form. <laughs> Do, do, do. So they're the ones that are weak to gun and he's weak to lightning. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Sweet. I'm starting to learn right at the end of the palace. Pop. Pop. And then I guess another one. And two for good luck. Baton pass. Persona! Captain Kid! You did it, Skull! Serves you right. I don't know if this will kill the top dude because he's not he's a, he's a red version no it did kill the top dude awesome okay that enemy was really weak okay uh apparently we can go in through there because the door is like yellow. But there's a bunch of other things we can check. We've got another revival bead. Oh boy. Save room. You love to see it. You can now quick travel to the throne room. Let's make a note of this place so we can come right back here later. So normally, looking at the... Uh, Looking at my people's stats, I would say, okay, we're at the throne room, it's about to end, we should back out now. But I've been told, you guys have said, that I should not do that, and it will, by progressing on, force me out. And that if I leave now, it'll just mean that the next time I come back in, I will essentially waste the day. So, I'm gonna assume that this is the point you were talking about, and not leave here, even though it seems as though it. I should. Because normally I wouldn't want to take on what the whatever the final boss of this thing is without full stats but uh yeah apparently apparently you actually do want to head in but uh, i guess let's take a look at these things first ah, lovely. let's open it Physical ointment. What would that do? Up my physical damage? Barrier that reflects physical attacks for one ally one time. Huh. I Gotta be very it. careful using that when it is the best moment to then. Can't climb up that one. Can climb up this one. Although, why would you? <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. I have something. Can also climb up this one. <laughs> okay, we're in. Quiet down, you idiot. Oh, were we not? Okay, maybe maybe the door wouldn't have worked. Oh shit! It's Kamashida. No. And a ton of soldiers. How have you not captured the intruders yet? I apologize, my liege. Okay, let's go. I bet he'd never imagine we're in the same room as him. Come on, let's keep moving. I wonder what would happen if we went down there. <laughs> Presumably, we'd have a really bad time. Gonna go ahead and not do that. <laughs> okay. Whoa! This sturdy looking door is pretty promising. Let's head inside. What on earth? Oh, what is this place? Holy shit! That treasure thing's gotta be in here. 
Hey, what is this? It's floating in the air. <laughs> That's the treasure. We finally found it. That's the treasure? That cloudy thing? I thought it would be a physical object. Just hold on a second. I was planning on telling you more once we made it this far. Okay. Simply finding the treasure isn't enough. We'll need to make it materialize before we can steal it. All right. And how, how do we go what about do doing mean? that? Desires have no physical form by nature. Hence, we'll first need to make the real person aware that their desires are in fact a treasure. Once they're conscious that their desires might be stolen, the treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them, we are going to steal your heart. So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally what a phantom thief would do! Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think. Right, but then by warning them, it also means they'll know we're here. So we won't be able to just waltz in and nick it anymore, I guess. That again? Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? Let's do this. That's the spirit. Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling card. Sweet. The infiltration route has been secured. All that remains is to send the calling card to Kamashida. Well then. We've secured our route. So, should we what should we do now? Do you want to head out for today? Let's leave. Okay, so this is actually yeah, I can I can see some people being annoyed perhaps that I was informed in advance that I would have to leave, so don't leave at that safe room, but at the same time, I would have lost a day because I would have then come in, got to this bit and find out that you had to go and send a calling card. So I appreciate that I was informed of that in a way that didn't spoil like what is actually the circumstances of it. Obviously, like that's a pretty like important one because I would have lost a whole day due to that. So yeah, I mean, good job person who told me you, you, you figured that one out correctly. It is a very fine line to walk on what would be a considered a spoiler and that would be very close but i think because of how i would find that incredibly frustrating if i hadn't known that and had quit out there and then come back only to discover this i would have found that really frustrating so yeah it, it is it is definitely a toughie but for me i'm i'm personally appreciative <laughs> that we discovered that cool let's leave hey yeah let's get the hell out of here before kamashida finds us Cool. I just want to see if I can do anything with these. Do you need something? Personas. It seems you long to be imprisoned. I can grant that wish for you. Can I? Because I I know there's like registering them. If I register them. Listen up, inmate. What is it? We are introducing a new regimen to your rehabilitation in the form of challenge battles. Oh, yeah? In these trials, we will permit the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your side. <laughs> Cry your tears of joy. Depending on your results in combat, you will receive some form of compensation for your efforts. Should you prove successful, there is no doubt that you will be rewarded and strengthened in body and mind. We've even prepared a special stage for you to undergo this part of your rehabilitation. Take this opportunity to demonstrate the furthest reaches of the strength you've gained up to now. Okay. Should you wish to attempt this at once, we shall oblige you. I assume everyone comes in with full health and MP? You can access a challenge battle by speaking to the wardens. In a challenge battle, you fight foes with your current party and aim for a high score by dealing as much damage as possible. You will receive a reward from the Wardens based on your score. After battle, HP and SP will be restored. Items consumed won't be returned. 
If you're defeated, the game won't end. Okay, so don't use any items. Curious. Do you need something? A special battle. Let's try it out. Huh. For level 10. So it's one above me. An entry level mode that tests combat fundamentals, including striking weaknesses, supports, and baton passing. I mean, let's give it a go. Challenge battle rewards and bonuses. There are three different types of rewards you can receive depending on your final score. You can only obtain each type once. You cannot do a hold up or an all out attack during a challenge battle. However, if you fulfill certain requirements, you'll receive bonus points. On the reward screen, use up and down to view the bonus requirements and opponents. Aim for a high score by utilizing your party members accordingly. Okay, so 10,000 gets you a copper lump, which sells. Uh, 15k gets you Duke's Coat, which gives 30 HP. And 25 gives you the Ember Ring, which gives a fire ability. I'm guessing there's not a chance in hell I'll actually hit 25k. Uh, where did... Sorry, where do you see... Um, Oh, there we go. Bonus. Win within 20 actions for plus 10,000. Wind attack score times 3. And attack. Score times seven. Okay. Huh. So wind and on, and win as fast as possible. I mean, that doesn't mean much to me, does it? Let's give it a try. We haven't met the dude on the left yet. Oh wait, we haven't met the one in front either. Challenge battle screen. You can view your current score, the score needed to obtain a reward, and the score bonus requirements. Oh, so I didn't have to do it. Remember it. Uh, cool. Even if you lose, the game won't end. If you feel you can't win, just escape. Challenge battle scores are based on damage dealt. Aim for high score. Well, we will certainly do our best. We don't know Mocking Snow... Oh, no, we do know Mocking Snowman. Weak to fire. Ice is no good. Shadow's weaknesses. Uh, he's weak to ice and wind, so we'd want to do wind. He's weak to electricity. He's weak to electricity. Right. Who was weak to ice again? I've already forgotten. You. Okay. You're mine. Oh, one shot. Lovely. Uh, Arn's got wind, doesn't she? Well, she's also got fire, though, so... Uh, wasn't this guy weak to wind? This one. Oh no, he's weak to fire as well. Oh, who's it that was weak to wind then? It's weak to electricity. Let's go for that. Oh god damn it! It must have been the snowman dude that was weak to wind. I should have. Ah, idiot, idiot. Uh, I've already forgotten, sorry. What's the, what's this guy? We for electricity, okay. Although we can't do all out attacks, so I don't know that this is actually going to help, is it? Are either of these guys anything to wind? He's strong against wind. They're both weak to fire. This one isn't strong against wind. We can only give it to Morgana.
Let's see how much damage it does with a max baton pass. Almost enough to kill him, but not quite. Motherfucker. Uh, just knock him out, I suppose. Uh Okay, round two. You will face this enemy now. Shadow's weaknesses. Ice. Weak to ice. Weak to fire and electricity. Weak to wind. Okay. Oh wait, there's a fourth one. Her skills won't work. It's fire won't work. It's weak to wind. Her skills won't work, so be careful. This one's weak to ice. I'm the only one with ice, so I should use this Zona. first. There. Woo! Looking cool, Joker. And then I will baton pass to Ryuji, I guess. No, I'll baton pass to... Yeah, I guess I'll baton pass to Ryuji. Uh, who's weak to lightning? You're weak to lightning. Then I'll baton pass to Morgana. You're both weak to wind, okie doke. Uh, which one of you is weak to fire as well? Oh no, has Anne and Anne's got wind as well. It's weak to wind. Only you. You're only weak to wind. Okay. Her skills won't work, so be careful. Oh, you're both only weak to wind. Okay, that's fine. And then we swap to Arn. Do wind attacks and with Arn. Smack him right in the booty. And then we've got a one more. So we do it again. Sleep? What a little bitch. Work, so be You're just weak to ice. You're mine. Then take a load of it. Down. That was and trouble. then, actually, no, I can just one more myself, can't I? Weak again. Lovely. Okay. We should have got the max amount then, right? 20k, wasn't it? Or was it 25k was the max? Can't remember. It was 25k that was the max. Damn it. Oh well, that's fine. We did pretty well. We did pretty well. Could have been better, but I'll throw you a bone. How kind of you. <laughs> Challenge battle score, yeah, damage dealt. Yeah, we know this. Support skills, baton pass, and technical. Yeah. That went that went pretty well. I am pleased. Right, and then can we register you these things? Seem composed. Welcome to Velvet Room. What do you need? Register. Justine, you handle this. Uh, register personas. Registration. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? You'd like to register this? Okay. The inmate needs our guidance. Mm. 
Finished I'll hold off on fusing for now, I think. Done already? What? Heading back? Yes. It is time, inmate. I will I will potentially uh think about fusing when we head in next time. What do you want to do? We've secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? I sure do. All right. All we got to do now is steal the treasure that shows up. Yeah, it's finally time. But we need to send the calling card first. When should we do it? Just hold on. Let's retreat for now. Then we can talk more about that stuff back at the hideout. Well done. Oh, and well done today. Wee! All that stuff. Nice. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Very nice. Okay. You did great today. You tired? P P P P. You back home yet? I'm pooped. It hit me like a goddamn ton of bricks right when I sat down. Well, I guess we did walk pretty far in. I'm glad we found that treasure thing though. So Kamashida will turn into a good guy if we steal that, huh? By the way, it's up to you when we send the card, Peter. Call us over to the hideout when you're ready. Got it. Nice work, guys. See ya. The real challenge is coming up. I hope you're ready. Born ready, Morgana. Born ready. How are you doing, my dude? Mm -hmm. If you're going to study, remember, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I thought I told you to clean your room. When are you going to do it? Right. I forgot that I can't actually... Because I've, I've I, I always go to study first, but then that skips me going up room. It skips straight to tomorrow. Following the news about the flower viewing situation, we'll be take, talking about the increase in scams. It's, it's called a bank transfer scam, and they've been happening much more frequently in the city. Many young people have been victimized, and the police are being told to stay on alert. Hey, hey. The victims are mostly young people? Oh, you'd better be careful too. Yes, I am so young. He... It was, he wanted us to clean at one point? I don't know how... Oh, wait, no. Maybe he might clean my room. I thought he was saying to help him clean up the shop. But actually, now that I think about it, perhaps he meant clean up my room. Is that going to be an option now? Oh. Do you feel like cleaning up now? Yes. Oh, sweet. Oh. That plant is still alive. We can decorate with it. Nice. Even a dreary room can be brightened up with the little green foliage. Let's take good care of this plant so it won't dry up and wither away. Okay. This is a good opportunity. The bookshelves over there are looking a bit messy. Let's clean everything up while we're at it. Sounds good to me. I've been wanting to do this for ages. I didn't realize that we could now. That's incredible. Politics, law, and philosophy. These all sound like some pretty difficult books. Take one at least. A little bit of effort will go a long way. Social thought. Take this too. Should be an easy read, right? Yoncha Walker. Mm. I wonder why this one is mixed in with all of these different books. Oh, difficult books. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah. This room feels a little more comfortable now. And just as I had predicted, we found a treasure, but... Mm. It's a CRT TV. We can't watch any broadcasts without a tuner. It would be a waste to just let it sit here, though. Is there a place where we can get home appliances for cheap? Well, then. I'm sure there is. Anyway, good work. Might as well get some sleep while we can. On to Saturday. I haven't done much of anything on my days off. It's such a pain to put on makeup, and I hate shopping, so I usually just end up lazing about the house. Yeah! Same here. Good thing there's home shopping. They always have the best stuff on Sundays. Ah, I bet that's a hint. I know exactly what show you're talking about. They even sell surgical masks when you're sick. Well, that's topical. I'll have to check it out tomorrow. It's so popular they always sell out if you don't call the same day. Huh. Morning. What up? Phew, made it on time. We need our strength if we're going to take down Kamishida, right? Ran late because I ate three bowls of rice. Anyways, I'm full of energy. I'll have plenty to spare to run wild in the palace. We finished investigating it, so we, could sh we should send the calling card today. I'll think about it. Hmm. 
Gotcha. Well, we do have some time before the board meeting. Still, our expulsion's on the line. We can't procrastinate forever. We'll be fine, man. Don't worry. We got this. Ahem. Kamashida-kun was really in his element at the volleyball rally the other day. You kids are lucky to receive direct instruction from a world-famous athlete like him. Sports have been regarded as sacred things that invigorate people since ancient times, so much so that an emperor himself even participated in one. Mishima-kun, do you know the name of the Roman emperor who participated in the Olympics? <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's Nero. It's good to throw yourself into your club activities, but you shouldn't sacrifice your studies. Sorry. That said, you didn't you don't seem too into sports, Parker Kun. Do you know the answer? Between music, theatre, and chariot racing, which sport did Nero win when he participated in the Olympics? Oh Christ. Um The fact that all of them's an option, I feel like because he was the Emperor, would they have just allowed him? I don't actually know this one, by the way, but just logically, I feel like no one would no one would want to beat Nero because he might just kill them. So I'm gonna go with all of them. This is it. Correct. Yes. Oh, three for three so far. It seems you've been studying after all. Nero won many awards in all kinds of competitions, all rigged in his favor, of course. Nice. I am the smart. Because of these kinds of selfish actions, not to mention a lecherous side, he became known as a despot. Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Yeah, maybe you should. Wow, you must be really smart. Oh, I so am. <laughs> Pure luck. You'd love to see it. Point up. That said, recently people have begun re-evaluating Nero's reign. Regardless, though, he was lacking in sportsmanship. He should have taken a page out of Kamashida Kun's book. <laughs> no, Fuck no, off. No. Don't give us that crap. Kamashida's the real despot. Do, do, do. I can't believe they have to go to school on Saturdays. What okay. a world. Sending the calling card is a make or break decision, so really think on it, okay? I'm sure both Ryuji and Lady Anne are uneasy too, so make sure you talk to them about it, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Let us hit the fat save. There we go. What a successful session this has been. We have reached essentially the end of the palace. So it only took me two days to get there instead of the one. If I hadn't completely screwed up that first time, I feel like I could have potentially done it in one. But I will happily accept the two. That's pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. I'm very excited for next time. We will be sending the calling card and uh, facing our first like end of palace boss. So exciting times ahead if you've enjoyed if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already share the videos around share the playlist around if you can i would really appreciate that and i will see you next time for the conclusion potentially of the first arc as it were of persona 5 royal thanks for watching see you then